What's up, hood folks? This your boy Rashad. This is somebody who don't know what they're doing. <laughs> That's Jeremy's tipsy ass. Why? We just got off live, as y'all probably know. Y'all watched a live last night because it's gonna go up. Actually, y'all watched a live tonight, I should say. But uh, this cooking video is gonna go up tomorrow afternoon. Hello. I just wanted to get in to show them I had the same shirt on from the live, and they thought I was lying. Oh, hey, boy, stop. <laughs> stop, man. Stop, man. Stop. But anyway, so tonight I'm starting my uh, Boston butt shoulder cut. Uh, I'm going to make some uh, barbecue sandwiches. Are they going to be big, man? Big barbecue sandwiches, yes. If they're not big, we gonna roast you in the comments. <laughs> no, they're gonna be big because I, I that's a good piece of meat right there. That's a that's a big piece of meat. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do first is well, I already got my bag in my slow cooker because I'm gonna slow cook it overnight. You're gonna put it in about the slow eight cooker? hours before about eight and a half hours. How long are you gonna cook it? Eight and a half hours. Is it gonna be falling off the bone? Falling off the bone, just dripping off the bone, and then you just gonna pull Is that, that shit gonna apart. Be real tender and it's gonna moist? be tender as fuck. It's gonna be real tender, tender, very tender. Ooh, anyway, um, <laughs> so uh, let's get started. Uh, like I said, I already got my bag in here, my uh, slow cooker bag, to keep me from uh, cleaning up a lot of sh uh, stuff. And then now I'm about to get on my seasonings. As you can see, I kind of already started my seasonings a little bit. What'd you use? I use some complete seasoning okay. already. Uh, I'm some pepper. You going too fast, man? God, please slow down. Some pepper. Okay. Black pepper. Uh, I'm going to use some seasoning salt. Not a lot because you know pork it gets real salty. What is that? Oh, what kind of seasoning salt is that? That is 25% less sodium. So your ankles won't be too swollen. Either. Right. <laughs> so we're gonna pour that in there, and I'm just measuring this by eye. But I say about two, if for something that size, probably about two teaspoons. What size? Two tablespoons of the meat. Okay. About two tablespoons of seasoning. Tablespoon uh, or teaspoon? Teaspoons of season, seasoning. Uh, each each one. So there you go. I'm using some uh, garlic powder. Pla sorry, flour. I mean shit, garlic, garlic powder. Put about a teaspoon of that in there. Uh, I'm going to use the rest of my uh, Memphis style barbecue seasoning. You're going to just use up the rest of that. Uh uh. That's too much, man. That's sure. Enough. All right. And a little bit of onion powder since oh. I'm already putting the. Uh, <coughs> did bro, you almost fall? Bro, I just almost fell. <laughs> and then a little bit of onion powder because I'm also. Um, what is that? Onion powder. What show? I can't see. Onion powder. Onion powder. Yeah. Okay. Cause I'm, but I'm, I'm not put, didn't put too much in there because I'm putting onions at the bottom. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is just stir it in, mix all other seasons up together. All right, that's good. So now I'm about to put my Worcestershire sauce at the bottom of my uh, slow cooker in the bag. All right. Just there a little bit of it? Just a little bit of that. And all right, so I put my Worcestershire sauce down. Now I'm about to put my onions down. You put onions at the bottom? Yep. Put my onions at the bottom. It's gonna kind of like break them up a little bit. Just toss them at the bottom. They would make some good onion rings. Yeah, they would too. I was thinking about making some onion rings. I feel buzzed up, man. Y'all cut up so bad tonight on live. Y'all just cut up. Some of y'all just cut up in the comments. Some of them? All of them just cut up in the comments. <laughs> they ain't got no kind of matter. All right, gonna put those down there. Get some more. You gonna make some onion ring? I'm thinking about it. I might you keep should it put all of them in there because I wanna when I make my sandwich, I wanna put some of these onions on top of my uh, meat. For real? Yeah, put all of them in there. Shoot. All right. So now I'm about to stab some holes in my meat and put my liquid smoke Why on. Why you gonna stab the meat up? I'm gonna stab this. What did the meat do to you? Motherfucker. Why are you stabbing holes in the meat? So the liquid smoke and the seasons can get inside. Seasoning. While it cook, yeah. And it 
get that side stabbed that motherfucker in the side. Man, you a beer slip, bro. What kind of meat is this? This is a uh, Boston Bud shoulder cut. What kind of meat is this? Pork. Man, I'm trying to cut away from pork. Well, you, I mean, people know if anybody, anybody black should know that Boston Bud is pork. No, no matter so where it comes Boston from. Buddy is. But no matter where it come from. Well, we had to buy what was on sale because, you know, the populace taking all the meat away. <laughs> I'm about to put my seasoning on first. Just grab it. And then we'll just rub it in, just massage that meat. You gonna beat your meat in there? Yeah. Well, I ain't gonna beat it. I'm just gonna massage it. Uh. I'm gonna massage this meat on all sides. I'm gonna take, take care of that meat. It's gonna be nice and tender and seasoned. Make sure you get all the sides. What about the corners? And those corners. Get some of this I'm spilling everywhere. Man, you wasting this. You got to get all that up. Hope you finna get it clean. There's a lot of protein in pork. Uh, yeah, I think so. It is. Yes. A lot of protein. So if you're on a low-carb diet, this is a good option. Now, if you're a Muslim, I don't know, I lied. Mike, excuse you since it's a popular film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since they ain't got no more chicken. Uh, you know, pork gonna have to do. Uh, Allah is a forgiving Allah. He will forgive me. <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all might need to check your terms and conditions with Allah's together. Terms and conditions. <laughs> I know Jesus will let you eat this without any problem, but Allah might ask you for, you know, to give me your card. <laughs> All right, so now it's seasoned. I'm about to turn it, lay it like this. What you doing? About to put my liquid smoking stuff on it now. All right, so I'm using some mesquite liquid smoke and marinade. It's gonna give it that flavor like it's, it's gonna give it, Yeah, it's gonna give it that smoke like it's been on the grill, like it's been barbecuing. Hold that on there. Down at the bottom. Yeah, make sure you get them holes. Yep. All right. Now I'm gonna dump, dump the rest of my seasonings. What we'll seasonings? The rest of it off of here. I'm gonna dump it in there. Oh yeah, we ain't throwing it away. Get them cones. What about the rest of that bowl right I'm there? dumping that in there too. Really? Yeah. Right at the bottom so while it's cooking it can just marinate on in. Alright. Okay, so now I'm about to set the temp. Low and slow? No. I'm going to do it high and fast. Nah. Why? <laughs> I'm going to do it low and slow for 8 hours and 30 minutes. Ready. Where you lead it? It's good to go. Right over here. Place the lid on. Make sure it's closed all the way. And we use when he press the bands to protect it. I already said that. You did? Yes. Where's y'all them drop, man? In the video, y'all. We're ready for a new day. Alright, so in about 8 hours and 30 minutes, this bitch be ready. What time? So it's what right now? It's 11.41. It'll be ready when? I don't know. Eight o'clock in the morning. About seven, eight, yeah, seven. Well, I want to get up at eight in the morning and have me a rib, a barbecue sandwich. I don't want no sausage and bits. All right, cool. Let's do it then. Damn. All right, so hood folks, it's been about what ten hours instead of the eight that I said with the with my meat. So, but anyway, so the cereals that we eat in during these tremendous times. Uh, got some peanut butter crunch. This Jeremy's favorite cereal. This is what he like to eat when we ain't, when there ain't nothing else to eat, only but the bullshit. This is his favorite cereal. Am I right? Right, because peanut butter tastes better than crunch berries. Crunch berries and oops all berries taste too sweet to me. But I like these because they taste so good. I love crunch berries, but these are good too. And also, they had these on sale. Nasty. And I got me some Lucky Charms. He don't like them, I do. Nasty. They good, they're not too sweet, they just right. Nasty. So. Now those are nasty right there, Lucky Charms. Only in his eyes, they're, well only in his mouth they're nasty. But anyway, so 
What kind of cereal y'all eat? Yeah, what kind of cereal y'all eat? Probably some Wheaties. They probably eat the same some thing, Captain Crunch. <laughs> corn flakes with some sugar water. Man, we used to do that back in the day. Frosted yeah. flakes. It, what kind of healthy cereal y'all eat? Because I love Cheerios with the little nuts and stuff in them. I still eat those mostly. I like the off brand of uh, Special K that Walmart be having. Mm. The Awake Vanilla. Those are good. So, let's look at this meat after it's been slow cooking. Y'all see that? Look at that. Seasoned good. Tender. Let's see if it falls off the bone. Where my knife at? It's not gonna fall off the bone. I hope it don't fall off the bone. Cause you making sandwiches, ain't you? Yep. Man. Uh, it's not fall, well, yeah, kinda. See, that's how it's supposed chunks. to look like that. You want it to be chopped, so when you chop it down, it's gonna be perfect for the sandwiches. Yes, sir. All right, so now I'm about to take it out and uh, cut it up. See those caramelized onions in there too? Look at all that steam. Can y'all see the steam? All right, so now what I'm about to do is go ahead and just kind of like get it off the bone. See the bone sticking out right there and then go ahead and just chop it up. Look at that, easy pull apart, look at that. Let me start. You're speaking on myself. Uh, That's a big old bone right there. Heck yeah, it is. So I'm going to finish getting all this meat out, and then we're going to start chopping it up. All right, so now I'm just going to, like, chop the meat up. Just chop it. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm coughing. Uh, get away from me with that. Oh, that's good meat. You ain't about to contaminate that. I'm coughing. So you said you like your meat chunky or real mushy? I like mine's kind of chunky. Yeah, I do too. That chunky meat is it's good, you know. And dude won't even let me get a sample. See how I tell you. Tell me I gotta wait till the sample get ready. What if it ain't seasoned good? Oh shit. Well, taste it now then. A real cook. Taste it now. I'm gonna wait. A real cook. Taste their food as they cook them, but what if it ain't got enough salt in it? What if it's too salty? Well, I'll taste it then. I season this meat. I wait. I'll be the judge of that because I speak the facts. I season that meat. That I, meat is seasoned good. I speak the hood fact. You be BSing. I don't. I'll tell you what it is. Like that nasty ass meatloaf that you had the other day. That meatloaf was not nasty. <laughs> That's a lot of meat. Try to get rid of some of the fat. Not, not a lot of it, because a lot of it is, you know, if you got some fat on the meat, it's all, you know, it, it makes it even better. Well, most of the fat came out in the bottom of the pan down there. Yeah. And see, most of the fat came out in the bottom of this thing. But what I'm gonna do is see all them onions right there. I'm not gonna throw them onions away. I'm gonna put them onions on top of my salmon. Don't them onions look good? Look at them caramelized onions. Look at that. Look at them onions. Now back over here. No, the, oh. All that seasoning. Look at, look at how seasoned that meat is. And how good that meat look. But wait till I put that barbecue sauce on it. Boy! And this wasn't a big one. This was a medium sized one because we didn't want to have too much pork. I've been trying to watch pork. No pork on my fork. <laughs> you got some pickles, don't you? I got a pickle for you. <laughs> the little dill pickle. It's hey, it's still work. <laughs> nah, don't hate. Alright, so now I'm about to put my meat in my pan and put my barbecue sauce on it. That 
That's a whole lot of meat. It is a whole lot of meat. I didn't expect it to be this much. That's why I thought I bought the smallest freaking one. But, damn. Y'all want a barbecue salmon? <laughs> they on sale. Seven fifty a pop. Damn. <laughs> That's how they be getting your ass in these stores and I mean in these restaurants and shit. For some damn poke sandwich and poke post to be the bottom of the barrel. And they charge so fucking much for it. Alright, this is an interlude, okay? It's still a cooking video, but this is an interlude. Anyway, so now what I'm about to make what? is a hood folks plain Jane. What is that? We're gonna use some simply lemonade. Well, I'm sorry, not lemonade, lime aid. This lime is aid. lime aid. Okay. We're gonna use some dick. Yes, dick. Don't put too much in there, about that much right there. And then we're gonna stir it. All right. And then we're gonna finish it off with some dry ginger ale. Just to top it. And there you go. What you call this? Hood folks plain Jane. Why is it called a plain Jane? Because it has no alcohol in it, so it's good for the family. Your daughter can eat it. Your niece can eat it. You eating it or drink it? Drugs, you know what I mean. Drink it. Your uh, your toddler can drink it. Now it taste no, it. Taste. No it liquor. Taste. It has no liquor. Damn, this is good, and it would go good with some damn alcohol right about now too. But I'm gonna keep it clean. I ain't gonna put no alcohol in it. We're gonna leave it at that. Now back to the video. Do, 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 do. All right, so I'm about to take a spoon of this juice out of here. Just one spoon? Yeah, just one spoon because this shit is so good. Like, it's so flavorful. I'm going to pour it on top of it. And then I'm going to add my sweet and tangy barbecue sauce. Y'all, this is the only barbecue sauce that tastes so good, you don't have to add nothing else to it. It's right at the bottom. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go with that for right now. Stir it in. And as you can see here, folks, I'm gonna need some more. I like my meat real saucy. I don't like no dry ass meat. Get in your throat and get the choking and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you gotta make it wet. That like jackfruit, don't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah kind of do. <laughs> kind of do the jackfruit that we made. Go check out that jackfruit ready, that jackfruit video that we made. All right. All right, so now I'm going to let this go in the oven for about 10 minutes, and then it'll be ready to serve. All right, so now I'm about to toast my buns. <laughs> so I'm just going to put some butter at the bottom. Let me turn it down a little bit, because I know this shit going to go off. Butter the bottom of the pan. All right. Now I'm gonna take two buns. Put them down. And let them toast. Get real kind of like. Toasted. There you go. All right, so I just took it out of the oven. As y'all can hear. Sound good, look good. All right, now we're about to make the sandwiches. All right, so about to make these sandwiches. Big sandwiches, pile it up. We 
kind of toppings you gonna put on them? Some onions. What onions? These caramelized onions. So yeah, the onion right there. Yeah. Take a couple of them. Put them on top. And you want pickles? Give me about one or two pickles. All right. I'm gonna give you three, cause these are small. You sound like damn one on the restaurant, three little pepper. All right. Now hold that sandwich up to the camera. Make your debut camera the same. Ooh, ooh. That's a big sandwich. Is that the kind of sandwich you wanted? Yes, that's a big barbecue sandwich. Now it better taste good, or I'm gonna talk bad about you. All right. Well, let's give this shit a try. All right, so let's give this a try. This looks good. It's how you know you can taste it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we about to taste it. But I already know everything that I cook is good. In my eyes, but I'll let you try too. So let's give this thing a try. Let me give me a napkin. It's good, huh, folks. Seasoned good. Mixed with the barbecue sauce. When I add it, the onions, the pickles, it's good. Mm. Hold on. It's not dry. It don't taste dry. It don't taste like, you know, it's mouth season. Like somebody just put some salt and pepper on it. And just put it in. It's seasoned real good. It's hood folks. I'm telling you, try it. Try it. Get up, get up close. Try a piece, hood folk. Now you wanna try? Yeah. I'm telling you. Won't be disappointed. So let me really tell y'all how I really tell you. He talking all that. Let me tell y'all something about the I'm tripping. Went to the store, y'all, and bought napkins. I never in my life bought napkins in my entire life. <laughs> I never bought napkins. Never. Why the hell did I buy napkins? I'm tripping. But I didn't buy a bottle of tissue paper though. Anyway. Let me see how this tastes. Hey, wrap it up. I heard from a friend today, and he said he cooked barbecue sandwiches. So I had to get me a ride going to his house. It's so good. Hold me. Hold me. Never let me go. Say it just one time. Say you love me. God knows I do. Love this barbecue sandwich, my friend. Damn, bro. This is the best meat you ever put in my mouth. And I mean that literally. <laughs> this time it take. Mmm. Mmm. Bro, I taste that liquid smoke. Mm -hmm. I taste that seasoning, all the seasoning bit, mm -hmm. and them caramelized onion. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, if you're a Muslim, Allah might give you one pass. You know, get a whole pair of them. He might give you a pair and have some of them. This is good. And I told y'all, I'm giving up for it. It's good, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I did my thing on it. Mm -hmm. and you see how. Uh, mm -hmm. I uh, browned the bread. I toasted the bread. Mm -hmm. That jackfruit don't taste like this, and that barbecue sauce from Crow, it's so good you don't even have to add nothing else to it. Any other barbecue sauce, you might just spike it up and spice it up some. But then, yeah. good. Mm -hmm. I ain't got nothing to say. We can end the video right here. Like, comment, subscribe. And what else? I don't know. Press that ugly ass bell button.
to get notified whenever we put up new content, new videos, anything new on our channel. And also, you can add us on Instagram. Jeremy's Instagram is Jeremy underscore is grown. And then <laughs> my Instagram is the big underscore boss man. So look us up, like the video, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time on another cooking video. Right, and we're gonna be vlog Wednesday, live Thursday for my birthday, and that's it. Peace. Peace. Oh, this number him's a good. I told you. That number him's a good. Mm -hmm. You always trying to say that. Ooh, I don't think you seasoned well. Oh, boy, it's good.